Welcome back to the Obby series, let's continue our game. In this video, we're going to be setting up a kill brick system to easily add kill bricks to your game. The first thing you want to do is go to workspace and make a brand new folder. With your brand new folder added to the game, go ahead and rename it kill bricks. Now that you have your kill bricks folder, head over to server script service and click plus. In here, go ahead and create a brand new script. To access this script for completely free, go ahead and click the link in the description to access my discord server. From there, you can simply go ahead and grab the script. The only thing to watch out for is to make sure this folder is named kill bricks with no other capitals than the K. To test out our brand new kill brick system, go ahead and create a brand new part. You can go ahead and color this part red if you want to. Then simply drag this part into the kill bricks folder and go ahead and spawn in. Now once you spawn into the game, if you follow the first and second part, you will be at the stage one part. Go ahead and walk over to the new kill brick. Once you step on it, you will die. And because we did make dying instant, you're going to spawn right back at this part. The next thing I highly recommend you do is go ahead and create one large part right underneath where your obby will be that'll kill players when they touch it. This is so players don't have to spend a lot of time waiting to die falling. We can do this by editing the part we already made. Go ahead and head over to the properties and change the size property. Go ahead and type in 2048 comma 1 comma 2048. This is the largest size we can get. On top of this, go ahead and set the position to 0 comma 0 comma 0. After that, go ahead and set the middle number to a negative value like negative 3. This will set it just underneath the base plate. Now that we're done that, go ahead and delete the base plate. We do need to make this part transparent when the game starts, so to do that we're going to be using a script. This is so we can see the part when developing the game to make sure we don't put any parts inside this one that'll kill players. To do this, let's simply create a script inside this part. Make sure it's not a local script. This script is really short and you should just be able to type it out. If you still want it, it's available on the discord server. Now if we load into the game, you'll see that that part is disappeared. Before we play the game, click on workspace, then tap anchored right here. This is to make sure that no parts are falling through the game. Another good idea is to make sure you click this part and set can collide to false. After you do that, make sure can touch is true. Now we can go ahead and load into the game. As you can see that part is invisible, however if you were to check in the workspace, it's definitely right there. We can also test this by jumping in. Now we can automatically die by pressing R or jumping in. These are just small quality of life features that will make your game a lot nicer for players. Anyways guys, if this video did help you out, please make sure you're subscribed before you go to the next part.